Today, I'll be making the coolest of cool terrain pieces. A snow-covered mountain with an infinite tunnel filled with space marines and tyranids. Let's get crafting. Emil, Space Marines, Infinity, what in the clickbait fuck are you talking about? Well, hear me out here. There is this one thing called one-way mirrors. And I just wanted to make something using this. Creating an effect where there's thousands and thousands of Space Marines trapped in ice. All we're gonna need is a regular mirror, a one-way mirror, and a light in between there, and we should be able to make it look like there's infinite amounts of Space Marines trapped in ice. Now, let's paint this marina. Okay, so two things. First, I repost the Space Marine to make it look like he's kind of floating mid-air, like he got frozen in a millisecond. Pretty cool. And the second thing, this Tamiya putty. It was so freaking easy to work with. I've always had trouble with green stuff because two out of three packs you buy have started to dry and Milliput is just sticky and gooey. This one, it's like the best of two worlds and then becoming an even better world. I'm never gonna use green stuff again. I just wanted to say that. Now let's move on with building. You all agree, right? We haven't had enough resin casting on this channel. And to make these look like they're frozen in ice, we're gonna need to cast them in resin. Uh, and I found this thing. The tiny light that I'm going to use to light up this cave to make the infinite effect came with a diffuser made out of silicon. And it's pretty much the perfect size to cast these. So, after all, why shouldn't I? So the resin is poured, I just have to wait for it to harden, it's gonna be 24 hours. And speaking of hard things, I mean, Lucas, what are you doing? I'm uh, working on next week's video, so, uh, make sure to subscribe to our own uh, to our YouTube channel, so you won't miss this epic tank diorama, without the tanks. Tonks? Tonks. So it's hardened, looks good, clear. Nice. We're gonna need to do some polishing, but came out looking really clear. So we had this idea, maybe it will just be enough if I gloss varnish it. Let's try that first before we do anything more drastic. Gonna be perfect. That was easy. Easy fix. All the figures are done, they are trapped in ice inside of this hard resin cube. And that's uh, how far I planned. So, what now? Sticking to the theme of hard things, wait, what? <laughs> Shouldn't you uh, make this rocky hard ice mountain as you talked about in the beginning of the video? 
Not the dumbest thing I've heard today. The general shapes of the hills are in place. Now there's two things I have to do in this box. I have old pieces of cast rocks to make a mountainside. And number two, I'm gonna talk about Squarespace. Time for a short message from Squarespace. They have some of the most amazing award-winning templates to make websites with because you don't need any previous knowledge about making website and you're still gonna be able to make it look amazing. And that makes turning your dream hobby into maybe a part-time job so much easier. It is completely free to try out. Anyone who is a creative should try this at some point. When you're ready to launch, just use the code SQUIDMAR and you get 10% off your entire first purchase. One thing to keep in mind when working with XPS foam or styrofoam is that whenever you're using a spray can to prime it, it's quite often that the propellant or solvent in that spray can melts the foam. So to protect it, I'm gonna create a thin film from PVA glue, flour and salt and just put on a thin coat of it and I can prime it later. With terrain, just keep things simple. No need to overcomplicate everything like you always do. I'm talking about you, Steve. Airbrush with a bright blue contrast paint and then with a dark blue contrast paint. Boom! White dry brush. Boom! Are you following or are you too dumb, Steve? What the f do you need me to hold your hand in every single step of the process? Come on, mother So we got the mountain pretty much painted. It is now time to add some snow flock on the entire thing. This is the step that's either gonna make it look really amazing or really cheap and terrible. And I hope it's the first one. Let's try. What the hell, Steve? My ladies and gentlemen, the terrain piece is done and in about 60 seconds I will do an epic reveal of the astonishing infinity effect. But first, I want to talk about something that really means a lot to me. Last year, we released our first products as part of the Champions of Sona lineup. And we've been continuously working really hard on that universe. One of the most insane things that we managed to land for that campaign was to have my favorite author, Richard A. Nock, as the main writer for the lore of the world of Sona. Among other things, he's written stuff for World of Warcraft, Diablo, Dragonlance and Pathfinder. And we have now a finished 
full novel that will be released by the publisher Wraithmark on Kickstarter in 14 days. Featuring everything you love about the world of Sona and its champions. And this is just one of many awesome Squidmar products coming this fall. One of those things will be a new Squidmar Harder and Steenbeck airbrush coming out to all of those of you who missed the first one. Brand new designs. I'm so excited to get this out to you. So if you are interested in what we do and especially if you like reading fantasy novels we will put all of the links to that campaign so you can sign up to be notified when the campaign goes live the 7th of September this year. It really does mean a lot to me and I'm so excited that we finally have this coming out and then there will be more info about the airbrushes in a few weeks but now guys it is finally time for a grand reveal! Thank you so much for sticking out to the end. Don't forget to check out the link it's in the video description to Squarespace and to the book. Massive thanks to all of the patrons. If you guys want to help out, the Patreon is another great way of supporting this channel. Massive thanks to the top patrons. That said, have a great day. Bye bye.